Yeah. Now tune to the Plug of Audio Net. It's your boy Cool Kill. And I'm John Nate That was that King Combs. Love you better. That's that R&B ish. But speaking of that R&B ish, we got a special guest in the building right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's What's not up, man? new to the. He's not new to the show. So we're gonna say a I gotta competitive see guest. I got to. I got to come and you know <laughs> see y'all on a quarterly basis, baby. You already and know. It's first quarter, so hey. Oh yeah, oh, it's grass season, bro. <laughs> it's grass season. I'm here. What's been going on with your trans yeah. ball set, baby? What's up, man? Everything, man. Life. Uh, yeah. New music. Uh, new distribution. Okay. Um, Shoot, I'm vegan now. I done changed a lot of stuff. Say man. what? Yeah, I'm vegan now. I ain't eat no meat. I ain't had no meat in about 45 days right How now. How you feeling? I'm good. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, um, what's crazy is I um I used to like not be a morning person. Yeah. So like now since I've been like taking the meat and the dairy out of my life, like man, I can get up at like 4 a.m. Like yeah. out the blue, like yeah. just boom, like <laughs> up. And then sometimes you wake up in the middle of the morning and you just can't go back to sleep. Like, yeah. Man, it's everything, man. Like I said, the new music just dropped the new single, Perfect. So, okay. You know, man, I'm here to, I'm here to change, you know, change this R&B game up, man. We gotta do something a little different. So. Oh, we see, we see. The last time that you know you've been opening up for a lot of people. Yeah. Last time it was uh, you had the one with Tank. I think. Yeah. Sounds more of like the crowd had it voted for you to be mm -hmm. that opener. Yeah. So how was that? Get, that was dope, man. That was my first time actually opening up for like a big R&B artist. Okay. You know, I had did some stuff before, um, but yeah, the tank, the tank situation was dope, man. And you know, tank showed me a lot of love after the fact. You know, we actually okay. met him in CIAA. When was ran into him in CIAA. Was crazy. My cameraman um, came upstairs. We all chilling. We had just like went out. It was promoting for probably like an hour or two. Right. Came back inside to just chill out cameraman was like, man, your boy downstairs, I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> he was like, Tank, I said, dang, he was like, if I don't go, yeah, at yeah, least yeah. try to, you know what I'm saying, you know, find him and cross paths, right. You know, so I might miss an opportunity. Went down there, man, we chopped it up for like about 30 minutes, bro. Okay. Like 30 minutes, he giving me um, tips on like different ads, like how I should move with ads, um, yeah. singles. Live shows. He gave me a lot of gems in 30 minutes. And then afterwards, he was just like, well, what you doing tonight? I was like, man, I'm probably going to go back to the crib, man. You know, we, we probably going to go. He was like, nah, bro, come out with us. So wow. literally me, my manager, my publicist, man, we literally went out there with him, yeah. twisted. <laughs> like, man, we, it was a good, it was a good time though, man. And um, I met some of his artists and some of his team, you know. Okay. So, Ten good people, bro. I was with Bobby Valentino. You know, we don't rarely see people come through the market like that. So yeah. opening up for Bobby V, when I seen, I said, oh, that's spirit of the moment. And then as soon as yeah. I seen you was on the tag, how was it working with Bobby V? Bobby, Bobby humble, man. He talented okay. too. A lot of people don't know, man. Bobby do a lot of. Um, he does a lot of, like, he's really good with, I guess, incorporating how he really wants the show to go. Right. Like, a lot of artists, man, they just run through their set and keep pushing. Like, right. He actually was at Soundcheck and did every single song. Okay. Like, I watched his whole Soundcheck because I like to try to study how guys move. Okay. Um, and he actually listened to my Soundcheck, you know what I mean? Okay. And during his Soundcheck, he was, because um, he played keys now. He said okay. he learned, like, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, he was playing keys, and I was singing behind him, you know what I'm saying, just okay. so we can kind of, like, mesh a little bit. He a cool dude, man. His team, everybody good. Like, when I meet these guys, man, it's not nothing like a star thing. It's more so, yeah. like, I'm an R&B artist. And I'm trying to learn from you, right. but I'm not like, you know what I'm saying, like a starstruck. Starstruck. Yeah. It's more yeah. so because I, I want to be here and I'm supposed yeah. to be, you know what I mean? So right, right. it's not like I'm in it like to try to do nothing weird. You know? right. I'm, in yeah, it, yeah. I'm trying to get to it, bro. So <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, collab, man. Yeah, right. collab. Yeah, exactly. Grind it out. So it was dope, though, man. Bobby was dope. <laughs> R. Kelly was dope. Okay, okay. Speaking <laughs> of R. Kelly, I was going to ask too what type of jewels <laughs> did he give you? When you first met him, oh, how, when you first met him, yeah. When you first um, met him, y'all want a funny story? I want the uh, real, expect the exclusive, baby. <laughs> um, when I first met Kells, it was not on like no. First, second time I actually sung to him, I was just like, man, okay. I'm singing to him, let him hear the vocals, you know what I'm saying? The first time was more so like. It was losing Greensboro, just knocked the show out and just went back there to dap him up. Right, right, right. Um, but it's just funny like how the situation was because yeah. like, you know, when you went in there, it was just like a whole bunch of women. Like, it was like Kells and like 12 or 15 women. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Kells a man. Now, granted, I'm not getting into another yeah, crazy yeah, stuff, but no, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like 12, 15 women in there. Everybody just chilling, having a good time, drinking, you know, having mm. a good time. On um, the second time, I actually, um, his brother, not the brother that was on the series, he, you know, he got a lot of brothers. Mm. He had a brother that looked just like him. Like, you would think it's him. Like, he looks oh, just wow. like Kells. He um, actually, right after I went on stage, he was just like, yo, man, I want to chop it up with you when Kells go off. I said, all right, bet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I, I'm not the show out. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, I right. killed it. Um, we're chopping it up with him, and he pulled me to the side, and this is on everything I love. He said, look, man, I'm going to tell you up front. Like, you want the, the realest openers that we done had yeah. like, since he's been doing 
you know what I'm saying, the show, he was like, yeah. you actually got the crowd engaged. And he said, like, for you being 25, like, you yeah. just fearless out there, bro. Like, yeah. I was just like, man, look, bro, this, this is, you know, it's my passion. Like, this is all yeah. I want to do. And I got a little yeah. kid at home, so mm -hmm. I can't be out here, you know, a thousand miles away wasting time. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it was dope, man. And we exchanged numbers and kept moving. Okay. You know, and a few months later, this all this stuff happened. So, yeah, right, you know, right, we right. were kind of trying to stay out of the way. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with that, bro. <laughs> I understand, I understand. You also dropped the mixtape, you know, and this video that everybody, you know, it got you got the internet going crazy was this Jeep. Yeah. You, you remixed the Jeep. So yeah. what about that record Jeep did you feel like you wanted to remix to show your vocal ability? Yeah, um actually um you know Queese. Yeah. Uh Queese actually had like a little uh he had the beat and like he had a dope reference already. Okay. Um and when I heard it I was just like, Man, let me let me put something to it, you know what I'm saying? So we kinda went back and forth with it. Um, at first, I didn't even think I was going to do no video to it, man. I, I record a lot, you know what I mean? So, yeah. at first, I was just recording it just to hop on it. Um, but, you know, the team liked it. We put it on a mixtape. It actually, um, you know, we can track the analytics on the tape. Right. They had, like, like almost the highest numbers on the on the tape as oh, far wow. as, like, all the different tracks. Yeah. It was just like, man, let's just give them a visual for it. Um, the visual was dope because uh, we did it at... Um, like Bahama, Rouge Mount area, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. But we had it looking like, yeah, we made yeah. it look like it was somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? It's all about, it's all about the visual, man, yeah. and yeah. the house looked just like a mountain crib. So yeah, what dude. I did was, I said, well, look, let's just make it seem like we going to the mountains for, yeah. you know what I'm saying, a, a weekend or whatnot, and let's okay. just base the thing around there, you know what I'm saying, try to be creative with it. Yeah. And it worked out, man. I had, I had my own dancers come up, and we kind of, if you look at the, the real video that he did, mm -hmm. like the real You Remind Me, yeah. and look at ours, we literally just took what he did and just modernized it. That's yeah. all I did, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if you look back at it, just modernize it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pay respect. You yeah. Know? yeah. And how important is that reinventing, you know, records such as Jeep, you know, and other covers that you may have yeah. that in the past? How important is that? Man, I just want to bring back, bring, like, stuff that was dope and impacted me, man. Bring it back yeah. out because y'all yeah. wouldn't be talking to me right now yeah. if I wouldn't have been listening to the R. Kelly, the Usher, mm -hmm. the at an early age, Chris right. Brown, you know what I'm saying, music soul child. So you gotta pay respect, man, to the people that came before you. You have to, you right. know what I'm saying? Because you don't have no type of motivation or no type of inspiration without uh, without yourself uh, been studying somebody else or seeing somebody else do it before you. Like, right. you gotta, you know, you got some type of motivation from yeah. somebody. So I just try to, you know, pay my respect, man, and give it back to the game. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Talking about paying respect, we got Mike Will and Al Green. Yeah, it might have to throw a little bit of Al Green in there. Yeah, put that in old school, Green. bro. Throw some Al Green in there. You're not tuned to the plug of audio net. It's your boy, Cool Kim. I'm Jermaine. We'll be back. We'll be right back after this. How let us. you tuning to the plug. It's your boy, Cool Kim. I am Jermaine Vanetta. And we got my boy, Trez Fall Settle in the building. Yeah. In the building. What's going on, bro? What's up, man? We still been here. dropping a lot of crazy records. The first record, I'm trying to think if I could, 2000 and... You about to go back. You about to 15, go back. you had a record. Give it that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shh. It's been a minute, bro. Boy. I, I told you something. I said, it's a it's a limited amount of people that I can say I really seen their music grow yeah, yeah, from the yeah. bottom to where they at now. You man. one of them, bro. Round of applause for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate everything. that, bro. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Um, How hard on. is that in trusting people with your career, though? It's really hard, you know what I'm saying? Especially for me, man, because I'm not just an artist, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. tell people that all the time. You know me, man. I invest yeah. in other stuff. I'm an investor. Um, I trade. I got a fitness company. Like, I do a lot of other things. So yeah. music is actually my passion. That's what I really want to do. But I do it, um, and I have to allow people to come in with me. Yeah. That way I can, you know, I can take that vision to another level because mm -hmm. I can't do it on my own with right. everything else I'm doing. Oh, man, and I've had some bad moments, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've had a lot of downs. Like, it's been more, probably more downs than ups. Within mm -hmm. this whole thing, but right. man, when you are up though, like when you feel everyone's feeling you and you and you know everyone is organically liking yeah, your music, it's, it's not forced, it's genuine. Yeah. Like, I don't ask nobody to post for nothing. Mm -hmm. I used to have a team of people I would ask, hey, post this, post this, post. Mm -hmm. I don't ask nobody no more because now it's like if you know it's dope and they know it's dope, mm -hmm. they're gonna post it regardless. Yeah. So I don't ask nobody for nothing, man. And uh, only people I ask is, is family. Like, I'm talking about like brothers, sisters, like, hey, put yeah. this in your bio because. You know, say so you closer to me, I can yeah, you know, yeah. ask you for that. But other than that, man, nah. And it, it's been a long time, bro. Like, it's been times when I thought, man, I don't know if this is going to work. You know what I'm saying? Having my daughter, like, yeah. times of thinking about, man, I can't do this no more, man. I need to stack up and just work. You know what I mean? But what happened is I just I just, I just, continue to be motivated, bro. Yeah. Like, something could happen in my life, and I used to just be like, man, nah, I can't do this no more. 
and then something can happen. I'm like, yeah, I gotta do this. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? God. Yeah, it's God. It's, it's God. Yeah. yeah. And then being on stage, when I'm on stage, man, I'm like, I'm on a different level. Like, like especially when it's a large crowd. Like for me, I'll be real with you. I know people say, eh, perform like it's 110,000. I can't. Me, 10,000, I get on steroids. Like, like, cause I feel like this is what I'm supposed to. You know, this is what I was meant to be. Yeah. You know, meant to do. A hundred, of course, I'ma kill it. But when it's like a big crowd, right. man, it's like being, it's like being at home after you don't been working all day. Like right. you just relax. Like it's me, and you know what I mean. Like that's, this is what music is for me, man. Like it's in my blood, dude. Like yeah. I've been drumming since I was a kid. Played trumpet when I was a kid. <laughs> y'all, man, some of y'all know, like, yeah. bro, I've been doing music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Singing since I was a kid in the choir. Yeah. You know, now it's just time to take that push, that big push. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, put North Carolina on the map. Right, right, right. You got a record out with uh, Q Bush, Show Me Off. How did that record come about? Um, He reached out for the feature, man. Show You Off, I'm sorry. Show, yeah, Show uh, You Off. Yeah, he reached out for the feature. He talked to management. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We ha we handled the business and we just made it happen. Um, okay. He told us in the front. Um, that he wanted to, uh, when he took care of everything business wise, he said, I want to get, I want to do a video too. Mm -hmm. And I, I really, you know, we do features all the time, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's a stream of income, right. you know what I mean? And then uh, when he said he was, when he said he was going to do it and get the video, we was like, oh, dope, that's promotion. Like everything yeah. in our head is promotion, like, all right, man, cause we're going to make sure we, the camera going to be right, right. The, the video going to be dope. And like, if it's really dope, as far as like the end project, shoot, I'm going to repost it, repost it, I'm going to post it on my page. Cause that's, that's what I'm about, man. If it's right. dope, I'm going to post it. You know what I mean? And yeah, man, he a good dude, man. SQ Bush is a hard worker, man. He independent too. Okay. And um, you know, a lot of the stuff that he's doing is coming straight out of his pocket as well, man. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, dope dude, man. Show you off. You can get that everywhere. All right, how did this new you got a new record? Mm -hmm. When I when I first got the exclusive on the email, I said, uh oh, it's another they go another one. Yeah. He got another one. How did the whole perfect record come about? Cause you got Crazy Figs produced it. Yeah. He yeah. did your last record with yeah. uh with Swift called Blow. Yeah. So how is the chemistry between you and Crazy Figs? Oh man, Swift? Figs is like yeah. like Mike and Gordy, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's to the extreme, but man, Figs crazy. But the perfect record came different, man. Okay. I didn't write this record, bro. I you know me, I write everything. Yeah. But this record was actually about to be um sold to Atlanta Records. Okay. Like, this record was not about to be mine. What yeah. happened is. Um, whoever they was about to send it off to, um, in between, like, Atlantic wasn't taking, they was taking their time deciding if they were going to buy the record. Right. So I ended up hearing the record. I'm like, well, shoot, man, this record's dope. Like, I can hear myself on it. Yeah. I still didn't think I was going to get it. I was like, man, Atlantic going to buy this joint. They yeah. have to. So the person that sent it to me, I said, look, if they don't buy this record, if they say no on it, give it to me. Because yeah, yeah. I can hear my voice. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's what happened, man. Like, Atlanta, them, Atlanta records didn't budge on it. Like, me, I used to, like, hate being that type of person, like, that even have anybody in the studio with me. But now it's like, bro, you gotta, like, you wanna make a hit. Sometimes it might not come from you first. Sometimes right. it might come from the person beside you. Right. Or it might be you and your producer. Or it might be you, your producer, your manager. Like, so I had to, I, I had to stop being selfish, bro, yeah. with, my, with my creativity. And I said, this is me. Like, this is what I feel about women. I think everybody is perfect the way they are. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And when I heard the reference, I said, man, dang, like, mm. this is me. Like, yeah. So as soon as that joint became available, I jumped on it. Like, okay. and, I, and I'm a man about it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I love to write, man, and I write all my stuff, but when I heard this thing for the first time, I said, yo, this is my record. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this is gonna get me to a different level of R&B, especially as an independent artist. Like, right. it's not a lot of independent artists making a record like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just real R&B, real acoustic sounds, you know what I'm saying? Really singing, you know what I right. mean? So yeah, so that's- When it comes down to the talent, before you, before you introduce it, when it comes to the talent, you know, associated with your brand, you like to create music that shows that raw energy. And what I mean by that is, you like to either have somebody putting in their, the raw instruments to create the sound, yeah, because it'll match your My not saying yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the raw vocals. Cause I got that instrument. church man, that church background. <laughs> man, my mom used to have me in the church singing. When I was like six, seven years old, man. Yeah. So like everything for me has to be natural. And like I said, I, I was in the band, you know, yeah. growing up. So I hear a lot of stuff that yeah. a lot of artists yeah. probably wouldn't hear. Right. Like as far as like the beat, you know what I'm saying? As mm -hmm. far as the bass line, as far as like the melody, like if you send me a beat tomorrow, I could probably like hear it one time and just hear a melody in my head. Like right. in the snap, like all my records, if it's just me mm -hmm. or it's melody, right. like I hear that melody first. Yeah. And when I hear that melody, I'm sticking with it. Like my yeah. gut is going to stick to that melody. Yeah. And I don't care if, <laughs> if it might not be a hit record, Yeah. but if it's in my gut, I know it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's prayer. Yeah, and that's that's what it's can about. Can you read music, or do you like yeah. listen to it and just? I can't read. Um, I'm not good with like piano stuff, but I can read like um, any type of percussion music. The notes are different. Um, it's not different. It's just it's a cadence more so as it with 
with like trumpets, you're actually going up on, you know, up on and down scale. on the scale. You yeah. know what I'm saying? With drumming, it's more of a cadence. Like this guy right here behind me, man. Corn, we man, we've been drumming since we was a kid, man. Like for real, for real. Like we've been like this guy right here, like behind y'all probably can't see it, but this guy right here, we literally he he was with me when I was dang on like a drum nut, like <laughs> like for real, for real, man. So yeah, yeah, that's in my blood, bro. I'm gonna let you go ahead and premiere this record, bro. It's on you. Hey, look, man, it's your boy Trez Falsetto. It's my brand new record, Perfect, produced by Crazy Figs. Um, you can get it everywhere, Apple Music, Title, you know, pretty much anywhere you can buy or stream music. Check it out. One love. Let's get it. Cool, man. Yeah. Man, let me tell y'all something. If y'all just not tuning in, y'all tuning to the plug. It's your boy, Cool Kill. And I'm Johnny Renetta. Make sure y'all call in now and now, 530-7445. I want to know what y'all think about that record. Make sure y'all call in. I got boy Trans Falls set up in the building with me. Yeah. Yeah, we still here, man. We still here. Perfect. That's that's that's. So let me ask, man. You re you really rock with the record, bro? But sometimes when I listen to records, it take me. I don't listen to it just off the first one. It take me one or two times to really sit and let it marinate. Yeah. But I know what you got in the can. Mm -hmm. There ain't nobody. That's, yeah, yeah, I know. That, so, yeah, bro, yeah. I came up with some. Like the joint we gonna push the top of uh, March okay. between. This nobody noticed, but Rico Love like that one better than dang on. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, bro. Yeah. What we did was Rico. we took um the trading places sample. Trading. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We took that. Oh, y'all shot it to him? him or? No, no, no. We just we just shot the uh, record to him, man. Cause you know, bro, like. Oh, no, I'm saying after y'all cut it, y'all shot it to Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay we okay, shot okay. him the rough. It ain't even the mix joint. We just wanted yeah. his opinion on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He's like, man, I like this joint better than Perfect. And Perfect is a dope R and B record. Yeah, like it it's yeah. a it's a record that can actually get radio attention, but it has to build digitally first. Yeah, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I talked to one or two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My guy, Big Mo, Big, man. Yeah. He, told, he told me up front, like, yeah, you just gotta um, y'all gotta kill him with the strings. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's what we working on right now. Hitting the ground, doing a lot of radio stuff. Yeah. Like, we probably gonna be on the road as far as campaigning for the interviews and radios for next month because yeah. we you know we you have to figure out record. yeah you got to yeah. push the record so push the record. you know what i'm saying a lot of ads mm -hmm. a lot of ig ads um, yeah. facebook ads i'm putting a lot of money up how so. important is is it to put money into marketing you know when when records you probably see <coughs> two when artists drop records based on the record that's when they'll put the most money but yeah. sometimes the the people just you know what i'm saying make that single make any record was hot because that's what you know the streams show it. Yeah. So how important is it putting money behind the marketing? Yeah. For, on, on your for your viewpoint. Man, look, I used to not put money behind the marketing. <laughs> I see where it got me. You know what I'm saying? Right. But when you put that money behind that marketing, um, for me, I look at it like this. Like I told you, I do a lot of stuff, so I can yeah. put my money out. I can put 200 on the ad, mm -hmm. um, 100 Facebook, 100 IG. I mm -hmm. ain't got to post nothing for like a week. Just be okay. active on IG story. Yeah. I might put a little picture up here and there, but really that ad is working for you. Okay. Like that ad is like people seeing your ad every single day. Like yeah. you, you target the market, so yeah. I put two hundred dollars up a week. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To just put some money up, like yeah. and just let it ad. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying in general. You know what I mean? Like this week I put a, I put some money up on, on some ads. You know what I mean? For Facebook, we put up like a certain amount on Facebook, a certain amount on IG, and we're just gonna let it just accumulate. And what we're doing is when you see it, it's gonna allow you to go right to the. You can either go right to my profile. Or go right to the um to the link, okay. like the master link with all the different streamer sites. Right. You know, so stuff like that. Man. I mean, the, like these social media sites make it easy for us. Yeah, right? I think that's really important because, especially when you have the link in there. Yeah. Because you can go directly to it, and people like that quick. Okay, I'll see this song. What mm -hmm. is it? I like yeah. it. Tune into it. Yeah. And they download it right then and there. And social media make it easy for us. If you don't win in this in this game now, it's kind of up to you because. Like before, you know how it is. Like five years ago, you couldn't just put a certain amount of money up, and your mm -hmm. post is gonna automatically get seen to this amount of people. Yeah. So it's like now yeah. you have to like I I'm bad at it because I'm not really a social media guy. Like yeah. I do it for music. Like I'm all about money. Like I'm trying to make some money. You know what I mean? Right. So with me, I have to really learn social media. Like and really learn it and actually be engaged. Like one thing about me. I don't like to be on live all the time. It's probably my first time on live in like months. But I'm but I understand to be successful. Like I have to engage with the following, right, you know what I'm right. saying? So as an artist, not only investing in money, you gotta invest your time into the craft, invest your time into your following. Like you can't expect people to want to follow you and to, you know navigate to your music if you don't give them no type of attention. Yeah. So you know I'm learning, I'm still learning yeah. as an artist, you know what I mean? So. Okay, you say in March with so a new project album coming out in March. <laughs> oh, that boy trying to force that one up. You want that project? Hey, look, man. I'm just say this. I'm gonna just say this. I will have a project out okay. before the summertime. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be EP, LP. I got a lot of records, man. Yeah. Like I, when I when we sat down um, a while ago, mm -hmm. when we sat sat down a while ago, that was records 
that I had that I done two years ago that still yeah. ain't been out. Yeah. And like now it's probably like 30, 40 records in. So it's like now I don't even really know yeah. how we gonna decide. Yeah. But it's just like I just want the best body of work, man. You know what yeah. I mean? I know everybody probably say this about their music, but I really feel confident. Like, yeah. Perfect is was the easiest record to put out. It wasn't the best record, mm -hmm. but it was the easiest record because it's a feel good record. It's yeah. top of the year. Yeah. It's family friendly. Yeah. There's no cussing in it. You know what I'm saying? Your mama can listen to it. Your daddy, your sister, your brother, everybody can listen to it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's, a, it's meaningful. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Look at everybody fire for get up out of here, man. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. SoundCloud, anywhere you pretty much can download music or on social media, Trez Falsetto, T R E Z F A L S E T T O. I like to try to keep, you know, everything consistent. I feel you. I feel you. It's your boy, Cool mm -hmm. We'll be back. I'm Johnny Renata. You're not tuned to the plug. Make sure y'all go check out that perfect out right now. I, I, the reason why I'm, I run music back, man, I like to show the love. So just because I like showing the love on this new record, bro, make sure y'all stay tuned, stay turned up. It's your boy, Cool Kill. I let me. It's your boy Tres Falsetto, man. I'm locked in with the homie Cool Kale, man. We're with the homie, man, Janae. Look, we right here at the plug at AudioNet. Tune in. New single perfect out right now. Let's get it.